everybody is responsible to demand transparency from the people who manage public money. This is a regional think tank specialized in uh, fiscal policy in the Central American uh, countries. We try to do fiscal policy beyond the traditional uh, concept which he embodies revenues, expenditures and debt, but we include fiscal transparency and citizen participation in uh, fiscal policy decisions. At the end of September of, two, of 2017, with the support of NED, we published and produced a book about corruption in the Northern Triangle of Central America. And the other day, I attended a meeting with judges uh, that are dealing with corruption cases and tax uh, issues. And I was surprised that one of the judges have our book in their case a uh, very, very um, used and, and tiered book with a lot of, of marks. When I ask him uh, uh, in which sense our book is serving, oh, this is like my Bible. <laughs> when he needs, as a judge, to have a criteria, an academic criteria, to understand a uh, type of corruption acts that can be uh, typified as criminal acts, he reads our book. So that is a very satisfactory example of how we improve these uh, uh, capabilities of decision makers. In general, I think if you compare Central America in the 1960s, 70s or 80s and the current Central America, we are in a better shape. We are moving forward slowly in, in a zigzag, but moving forward. And the young people know that and they don't want to be forced anymore. To, to migrate, for example. Migrants are not leaving their home countries because they want, they're forced to. So we should solve our problems through democratic institutions, through democratic development.